What's up? This is Ricky Badir. You already know. We're just checking in right now. The kid Fat Joe is here. What's up, baby? What's going on? <laughs> All right. Show him that little. Yeah. I Show caught him. a lot of heat for this because we bought equal to the day we died. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to. You, you yeah, repped your set, baby. Yeah, Rhonda. So we can explain the situation. Everybody got to pick something up. To get put on the hey, wall. Yo, Rick, you gotta rep your set. You know what I'm saying? Wrong with so that. I put Joe and Pun on there. Together, Rhonda, Rhonda was giving me beef about that. <laughs> Rhonda was Rhonda giving me realize how handsome I was in person. I, I you know, didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah, she's changing that thing up right now. She's saying her whole <laughs> vision, her swag yeah. on that point of view. Now, you know, right you already know. What you go Rick and you don't go seek it, baby. And you don't see it. No, but no. You see it? Hold on. Fat Joe's Cuban too. Fat Joe's Cuban too. Don't ever get twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, the ugly kid had to mess up the whole video. We had to fly right up good right, right now. The groovy Cuban, don't get twisted. The groovy yeah. Cuban. What do you think about these pictures? Tell me what you think. Analyze right there. Rock Kim. They are. Rock Kim, legend of all time, but probably the greatest, if not the top top three greatest rappers of all time. But put it like this: Rock Kim was ahead of his time. To this day, you hear his music and still rappers. Probably I can't make a better song than what he made. Nas, you know, he was like the um the next coming. You know, at one time, Nas was the best rapper on earth. His swag and, and his smooth flow and delivery, you know, made him better than everyone at the time. Pac, by far the realest rapper on earth. Um, Sorry. The most passionate in his music. You know, um... Then you got Biggie. Biggie ain't never say one whack rhyme in his life. Um, most charismatic. Um, he just came to the game and changed the whole game up for New York, for everybody. We already know about these two. Now Lil Wayne, the best rap on earth right now. Mm. Nobody could touch him. He's the only guy who could put out 300 songs in one year, and they all be fire. <laughs> Um, he's in jail, feels like he ain't even in jail. <laughs> he's running radio right now. This is my idol. This is my favorite rapper on earth. You got him on that film? Yeah, I got him. That's KRS One. This is my idol. If it wasn't for him, there would not be no Fat Joe because he's the person who inspired me. I actually was a KRS One groupie. I would be in front stage at all his shows, every show, like, you know, going crazy. I, I remember the craziest. I chased him. It was a show called SOBs. I chased him into the limo. He was like, yo, what's up? Come out. I was like, yo, I'm going to be a rapper. He was like, yo, do your thing. I don't know if he was just gassing me. Like, yo, do your thing. I said, yo, I'm going to be a rapper. I'm going to be a rapper. Yo, he was like, yo, yo, you know, I see you at all the shows. I could look. This is my idol. Most deaf, I love him more as an actor than I love him as a rapper. That's a, just, I mean, if I got to explain to you. Most Def, a lot of people love him and all that. You know, I'm not so into the backpack thing. I love him as a person. Mm -hmm. I love his acting incredibly, but some people think he's the best. Now, this is the best female rapper to ever touch a mic. She's Lauren, Lauren Hill. Can nobody still to this day touch Lauren Hill? Um, her, her whole flow, her delivery, her wordplay, her everything. She was the best rapper. Female rapper to this day, I believe, Lauren Hill. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg, he's not even a rapper. He's like, he's just a, a superhero or something. He's like, when he first came out, his flow, we never heard that flow before, that swag. He was representing that West Coast so hard. His music, he made some of the best music anybody can make in the history with the Chronics, with Dre, his album, all that. He got some of the best, timeless music you can. But what I say about him, I could turn on Dancing with the Stars and Snoop is in that joint. Or, or, you know, Larry King, he's on with Larry King. He's like, you know, he's an ambassador of hip-hop right now, right? Let's look at it this way. Now you got oh, the twin. Give me five. Give me five. The I put that one up there. No, no, no. The twin. Those two, yeah, right? right? Well, you know, first of all, yeah, we Latino. But we made black music, so it is what it is. Yes, the only Spanish kids to bring you them platinum plaques, that's us. Dynamic duo, big pun, one of the greatest lyricists ever to touch the microphone in the hip-hop. Charismatic, loyal, a brother, beautiful guy. Fat Joe, slightly behind Tupac and the realest rapper ever in the history of rap music. 
And you know what it is with us. I'm 15 years going strong. We make great records, man. What you want us to do? Mm. Then you got Method Man. Method Man is... First of all, Wu-Tang. Don't, don't like, knock over the scooter. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just oh, had to. Oh, y'all was a little bad real quick. I'm so sorry. Woo! Woo! Method Man was the most charismatic besides ODD and Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang is a legendary group. Still to this day, they perform in stadiums. They have a cult following around the world. Um... He has probably the greatest song of all time with Mary J. Blige, um, All I Need. Um, and that, that'll lead us into Mary J. That's my Soul. wife's favorite. That's my wife's favorite artist in the universe. My daughter will come in here and sing every song because that's what they play all day in the house. Mary is the shh. And then you got Jay-Z. But I had to figure it out for a second, right? She she ain't mastered that one, but he got the, <laughs> he got the rock up in the air. Well, Jay Z is arguably, probably, many will consider him the greatest MC of all time. And the thing I can say about Jay Z that um, he can't get that credit because the guys he's going up against, most of them are dead. So it doesn't sound right to compare him to them. But the thing is, nothing. Nobody's guaranteed to continue success and make hit records. So even though the class of 1995 and 1998 passed away, it's 2010, and he's still delivering hit, hit records, which is very hard to keep going throughout years and years. We can't guarantee that Pun would have been the hottest in the game right now. We would love to believe that. We can't guarantee Biggie would be the hottest in the game. We can't believe that. We got some legends here that we call maybe the best Legends of all time who ain't hot right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So eventually, sooner or later, you know, the, the new, new school cat. come up or whatever. This guy been in the game close to 20 years and consistently been staying hot, dropping hits and all that. So to whoever thinks they're a Jay-Z fan, then right on because he probably is one of the best rappers ever in the history of rap music. So that's my summary of the whole thing. That's that 101. I, 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 gotta I gotta tell you another story. I interviewed 50 Cent, and mm -hmm. he came in here, <laughs> and he was pissed off that he wasn't here, and you and Pun were here. I mean, livid. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was, he was I got it on high. video somewhere. He was, I got, he was I got high. Listen, he got one classic album. That's it. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey. Say about hey. that. No, he got hey. one classic album. You know what we can do after that. We ain't really seeing them like that, man. We, ain't, you know, it is what it is. Fifty Cent's Fat Joe fan. Swear to God, Fifty Cent wanted to sign the Terror Squad Records when he first came out. Mm -hmm. Don't let him lie to you. He knows who's the realest. He knows what it is. He does what he does for the people, or whatever. But he knows. Let me tell you something, Fat Joe been in the game 16 years consistently dropping hit records, hit records, hit records. I don't know too many people could do that. Mm. Silly cars, let me go there it is. So that, that, does that mean him and 50 Cent won't be making no records? <laughs>